start from animals, humans, bugs, and even floods. Scientists often classify how bad pandemics are by its death toll. They are caused by the mutation of a regular virus that gains the ability to spread, causing fatalities. It must spread around the world to be called a pandemic, otherwise it is an epidemic or endemic. An epidemic is when the outbreak is in a single country. An endemic is when an outbreak is permanently in one location. The cost relating to pandemics is the amount of death and money that is spent into stopping these outbreaks. They need funding to research a cure and to find relief for the victims. They need to fund hospitals to supply medicine. Diseases can cost billions of dollars to cure and the death toll can be catastrophic. This is the worst natural disaster because it has the highest death toll. What do you know about pandemics? Pandemics can happen anywhere at any time. So that's why it's really, and it's really hard to predict pandemics. The, cl the best humans can do to predict a pandemic is closely investigate epidemics and endemics to see if they have any chance of mutating or evolving into a pandemic. Then they can warn the people at risk of that pandemic. In every outbreak, millions of people die. But luckily we haven't had many deadly plagues recently. The latest deadly one is HIV plus AIDS. It is still active. The deadliest one in the past century was smallpox, with a death toll of 100 to 300 million deaths. Are there any myths or misconceptions about this natural disaster? Yes, there are many misconceptions. Some people think that pandemics can never occur, or that if they stay away from society, they can't get sick. This is wrong. There are some myths involving malaria claiming it has killed half of the people who have ever lived. Another misconception is that animals can't affect pandemics. This is very wrong. Pandemics often begin from animal flu viruses like avian flu or swine flu. Mosquitoes and other animals, bacteria, and parasites can spread the disease. Some of the costs relating to pandemics is the amount of deaths and money that is spent trying to stop these outbreaks. They need funding to help research a cure as well as find relief for the victims. They need funding to for hospitals to supply medicine. Diseases can cost billions of dollars to cure and the death toll can be catastrophic. We, we believe this is the worst natural disaster because it has the highest death toll. Pandemics have been a bit more frequent, but their death toll is slowly falling to advance the medical technology. No other natural disaster has a death toll as high as 300 million, but no other natural disaster has a risk affected by technology. Slowly, humans may eliminate all illnesses linked to pandemics. Pandemics are very expensive to cure, and it is very hard to reverse their damage. It, they can cause economic disasters and make most of our like, the luxuries we have unusable. How would you know that your tap water wasn't contaminated? How would you know that your favorite restaurant wasn't contaminated? Or that your friends weren't sick? Your co-workers? Your pets? After a pandemic, many people will need will have needs like emotional support, medical attention, or relocation. Pandemics can wreak havoc in cities and countries and can cause government or leadership to cities and countries and can cause government or leadership to fall living people in chaos. All 
living things can transfer this disaster, including plants. Even non-living things can harbor viruses and spread pandemics. With the death toll so high and the damage that follows, we think that pandemics are the worst natural disasters.